What's up, people on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Well, this is what I do every morning. I break down the stocks that I'm looking at for the day and how I traded them. So, looking at this crazy graph here, made a little trade on this and kept me in the green for, for the day. Gonna break that down to you real quick, but if this is your first time viewing the channel, you should subscribe to the channel if you want to follow me on how I trade these stocks and what I'm looking for, what type of moves I'm looking for them to make every day, and just breaking it down, what all this stuff means. Alright, looking at VIVE here, it opened up trading around 177 a share, about a dollar and 77 cents a share. I was looking at it in the morning and I remembered my rule. I wasn't going to trade in the morning. So, you know, that was good. And price happened, price action was really, really jumpy. It could have easily went down to the downside. I mean, 5% wasn't that far down. So could have easily went down to the downside and just waited it out here. Got in here on this red candle here, seeing that the K line was trying to curl up. Maybe it would be a nice push up and then waiting on the D slow here to start curling up. Got in at 195, sold half of my shares here at 198. Try to get 201 there, was hesitating there. Sold half at one, one, uh, 198, then sold the other half at 196. Right before it started heading down here. And then if you was nice and patient here, that's why I like using the Hiken Ashy candlesticks. Candlesticks here, if you're using T Meritrades, they're in your candle settings here, and you just go to appearance and change out the chart type here. Most people use Japanese candlesticks, but I like Hiken Ashi. It just shows look all this just shows how the the trend is going. If if you want to you know just wait for the that first green bar to come in after the indicators came from the dip, it lets you get in on a you know good price here. So I like using Heiken Nashi definitely for traders that are not really worried about the exact candle they are, you know, trying to get in because on a Japanese candlestick, this candle might might have been green right here, you know, or it might have been a, you know, it's a little, it's quite different than a regular Japanese candlestick chart. But anyway, looking here, if you just follow here and be a little patient here, even if we got in a little early here, right? So we got in at 180. We're seeing what following the indicators. It's below the mid line. It looked like it was about to curl up. Okay, you got to suffer a 3 4% loss, but you get out here at 185. Maxed out on the indicators and ends up working out all right. And if you catch the bottom here, it would be even better. Nice 5 to 6% gain. Maybe you sell half of your shares here, seeing that it's a downtrending stock. Sell half your shares at 4 to 5 percent. And let it ride on out. And just leave it alone after that. It's a downtrending stock. It's not making any really good moves. Bam, leave it alone. So, looking at the other trade I did today, F seal. F the seal sale. F the sale. F C E L here saw that F seal had a great day yesterday nice strong uptrend here going into the next day I was watching in the morning had a nice push here I think it was four percent here nice push there I was waiting on the curl waiting on the curl I was hoping that one of the indicators went below the min line that's why I got in late here but I uh, still got in. I got in at 273 here, top of the candle. Late entry. Missed out on a good 1%. 1% extra here. Then ended up selling half my shares here at 285. And then sold the rest here at 278. Just wanted to make sure I locked in some gains there once it got past 4%. And then I saw that this was a big sell-off indication that hey the stock is gonna start you know the stock might not this might not just be a regular pullback you know when you get a 
big slant like that, usually it'll, you know, bobble around nice and slow. But if you got a big slant like that, that means strong momentum to downside. That's what, you know, RSI stands for, relative strength, a relative strength index. It's not showing you exactly black and white which which way is, the, you know, the strength is going towards. But showing you relative strength, like relatively, this is looking like it is down trending. All right, so let's look at SPY overall market and how the paper trade is going with NUGT. It was right around the area I wanted to start taking profits at. But SPY here looking nice and strong. Nice and strong there. It is. Buying it up. And gold is going right along with it. Looking at NUGT. The ETF here. Let's zoom in here. Here is my profit taking area here. Make sure. Right. Yep, yep. So from $30.73 to be exact. Where's that? Has a nice ten percent gain here. Gonna go ahead and start taking profits. Got one of the indicators. Look like it wants to max out. I mean, it looks like a easy, a easy you know hold for more profits. But gonna go ahead and trade like a robot and take some profits. You never know what's gonna happen next. Never know, you know what block black swan event could happen or what crazy tweet that could get tweeted out. You know. And make this crap just go any way it wants. Alright you guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys are out there trading safely. Gonna go ahead and just sell half of my shares on that paper trade. And I'll let you know tomorrow how that worked out. Hit that like button for me if you would guys. If you like this video. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Peace.